Hi friends, it is now read aloud time. So today we're going to be reading this story. Take a look at the cover. What do you see? Can you make an observation? Now remember, when we make an observation, we use our eyes. Can you point to your eyes? So we're gonna make an observation. Look at the cover of today's story. What do you see? I see this little guy down here. What is this? This is an ant. Can you say ant? Now, we know that this week we are learning about bugs and insects. And last week we learned about two different insects. Do you remember who we learned about? We learned about ladybugs and bumblebees. And we know that they are both insects because they have those special body parts. So we know that a bumblebee and a ladybug, they have antennae, right? So let's take a look at Wilby. Wilby has antennae. How many antennae does Wilby have? Help me count. One, two. So in order for an insect to be called an insect, it needs to have antennae. It also needs to have a head. Can you point to your head? That's something we have in common. We both have a head. And now an insect also has a thorax. Can you say thorax? The bumblebee has a thorax. And the bumblebee also has the abdomen, which makes it an insect, right? Can you say abdomen? Beautiful job. Do you think an ant is a bug or an insect? Take a moment to think about that. Put your thinking cap on and think about that. Do you think an ant is a bug or an insect? Now remember, an insect must have six legs. Do you think an ant has six legs? Well, we can count because in today's story, one of the main characters is an ant. So can you help me count the ant's legs? Okay, you ready to count nice and loud? One, two, three, four, five, Six. Does this ant have six legs? Yes, it does. Does it have antennae? Yes, it does. So this means that an ant must be an insect. So today is going to be all about ants. Isn't that so silly? Today we're going to read this story called, Hey Little Ant. What do you think this story is going to be about? Can you make a prediction? Take a guess. What is Hey Little Ant going to be about? Let's begin. Hey, little ant, down in the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe? Can you see that? Well, now it's going to squish you flat. Oh no. What is that boy gonna do to the ant? <gasps> He's gonna squish it. Do you think this boy is being a bucket filler or a bucket dipper? Now, here's what the ant says back. The ant says, please, oh please, do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh please, don't make me die. How does the ant feel? Oh, I think he's feeling a little sad. Can you show me a sad face? Here's what the kid says, are you ready? Anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny and you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small. I don't think I'll hurt you at all. It's not a very nice thing to say. I don't think so. That would hurt my feelings if someone said that to me. Would it hurt your feelings? But you're a giant and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come now close. I think you'll see that you're very much like me. Are you crazy? Me like you? I have a home and a family. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Oh my goodness. Is this boy being very nice? No, he doesn't seem like he's being too nice. Oh, big friend, you are so wrong. My nest mates need me because I am strong. Can you show me strong muscles? Strong. I dig out our nest and feed baby ants too. 
I must not die beneath your shoe. Do ants have family members? Yeah, look, he's showing all his family members. But mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. <gasps> oh no. Hey, I'm not a crook kid. Read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my whole town. So please don't make your shoe come down. What is, what are the ants carrying away? Those chips, do you like chips? But all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They are looking at me, they are listening too. They all say I should squish you. <gasps> do you think that the boy should squish the ant? Give me a thumbs up if you think he should squish the ant or give me a thumbs down if you think he shouldn't squish the ant. What's your opinion? I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? So the ant is saying, if I were you, would you want me to squish you? <gasps> Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with a raised up shoe. What do you think? that kid should do. So the author has a question for you. Can you put your listening ears on really, really tight? Really tight. Should the kid squish the ant? Now I want you to think about it. Should the kid squish the ant? And I want you to share your answers down below so the rest of your bumblebee friends can hear what you have to say. And tell us why. So if you say, yes, he, so he should, tell us why. And if you say he shouldn't, also tell us why. I hope you enjoyed this read aloud, Bumblebees. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.